Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. There wasn't much optimism from the Senate President Monday. The legislature was believed to be strapped in a year when money had to be shuffled around to fill a health care funding hole. When you take over $400 million out of, uh, out of the budget and put it into health care, uh, there's going to be impact, and I think you're going to start seeing that. A smaller tax cut package, which was signed by the governor Tuesday, was an indicator. But around midnight Monday night into Tuesday morning, $300 million worth of member projects appeared and funding for top priorities of the Senate president, House Speaker, Governor and other lawmakers surfaced. This has been one of the most remarkable sessions for open, tra open, transparent debate and fervent positions on both sides, respecting each other, respecting their positions and yet having that debate, this is the way government should work. We have members that have issues that relate back to their local communities, to the community college system, to the state university system, to economic development. Democrats weren't exactly singing the praises of a transparent process on Tuesday. Of course they're going to claim it's transparent, that's politics 101. Um, and it's unfortunate for the people of the state of Florida uh, that 300 million of their hard-earned tax dollars uh, will be going to fund pet projects around the state uh, for key members of the legislature. Budget leaders insist the 11th hour additions were discussed throughout the year. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Galka.